Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing such a fun video that I've seen so many creators do is Instagram chooses my rates for a week. I've seen people do it where you blindly choose, but I really wanted to see what other people thought were really good books without being blindly chosen. Yesterday I posted on my Instagram. If you don't know what my Instagram is, it's the same as my YouTube, Madison Kate Reads. I love my Instagram. I post on that story all the time. I absolutely love my Instagram. Yeah. Instagram's such a fun thing, so go follow me over there if you want to. Yesterday, I posted on there a little poll. So the first book I'm going to be reading is a romance genre book. The first book that I put up was The Fake Out by Stephanie Archer. This is the second book in the Vancouver Storm series, a hockey romance sort of workplace because she's like the team's physiotherapist. And I put Bride by Ellie Hazelwood up. This is Ellie Hazelwood's new release. It is a paranormal romance between a vampire and a werewolf. So it's sort of like an introduction to the Omegaverse. I don't really know what I'm expecting i've heard a lot of things that i should be expecting like knots i don't know what that means these are the two ones that i was really into so i put them up against each other and i got the result i got 68 percent bride <laughs> and 32 percent the fake out so obviously ride by ellie hazelwood won. i think this is gonna be like a quick little read i cannot wait i'm super excited to see if i'm going to love it this is the first book i will see you guys when i start reading this and we're gonna have some reactions i just know that this book is going to elicit a lot of reactions because it's so new to me so let's get into it What type of research went into writing a book like this because you have to get things like i wonder how many omegaverse books she read oh my god he's an alpha feeling like i'm in teen wolf <laughs> they just smelled each other and things got really intense at the wedding safe to say i don't know what is going on the whole like politics of the werewolves the vampires i'm really trying to figure it out but i'm having a good time the vibes are great i'm living for it i'm on page 52 having a fun time first thought i'm like in a cocoon what's happening it's kind of hot did i watch twilight yeah but i was never really a jacob stan because you imprinted on my baby but he just said i need you to behave i'm sad i'm behaving we just got a my wife scene yeah this is what I live for in arranged marriage. Hi guys, it's the next morning. I got to page 130 something and I'm gonna continue reading for right now because I'm super into the story. I'm having the most fun time. I can just tell I'm so addicted to this story. Learning about like the werewolf stuff and the vampire stuff was a little confusing, but I think I'm starting to grasp it. I'm so into him. I'm so into him, Sumi. I'm so into him. The way he reacts to her when she is in his presence. I just know it has a deeper meaning and I'm living for it. In this book, we're killing it. And I'm just gonna keep reading. Him literally telling her where she can locate the knives is peak chivalry. He's like such a gentleman. Him with children as well. I'm gonna sob on the floor. It's kind of crazy that I'm like more into this male main character than I am any other male main character Ali Hazelwood has written. I've read two of her other books and I'm into him more. Let's unpack that. This man. You are gonna have to pry this book from my hands. Just everything he says, I'm like giggling. He notices so many things about her and he says so many things about her that I'm like, oh my God. I'm taking a little break from the book because Destiny just uploaded a video. So I'm gonna go watch Destiny's video and then we're gonna get back to reading. This book is so good. I'm so glad I got it. I was actually debating not getting it because I was like, am I even gonna like it? Yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah, babe, it's not gonna be lower than four stars. Sue me, sue me. I'm having such a fun time, okay? The tension is insane. The tension is crazy. He literally called her perfect. Hi, I'm in love with you. Tell me why he was like literally professing his love for her. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. He didn't really do that. In the middle of them, like in a high stakes situation. How many times am I going to say I'm down bad for this man? So many. I just read the first like spicy scene, I guess you could call it. I don't know what you want me to say. She like something happened. I don't want to spoil anything, but like, oh my God, I need to talk about it. Something happened and like he wants to watch over her and literally like 
someone's like please like you need to sleep he's like no they're like i'll watch over her he said no he like can't be away from her that's me dad feeling so upset i have to go eat dinner and put the book away they just did some things and i'm confused i'm confused but i think i know what's happening because everyone's talking about knots so i'm like what does that mean i'm on page 289 right now so excited to finish this oh my god Please don't mind my parents. It's really crazy. Oh my god. I don't get what's going on. To keep it inside. Can't say I've ever read that in a book before, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Can't say I have. What? Why did he just say that? What? I knew it! Deep down, I knew it. Oh my gosh, I knew it so suspicious i thought i would finish bride tonight and it's like midnight so i think i'm gonna finish this in the morning and then talk to you guys when i'm like ready for the day and stuff and then we're gonna talk about the other book that i'm gonna start in this video i did a poll i have like 50 pages left so we're just gonna quickly do that in the morning so that's a little update i have Hi guys i haven't like talked to you in a little while i haven't addressed the next book we're going to be reading in like the instagram story but first before i get into that i want to do a little wrap up of bride by ali hazelwood because i did finish this book this morning i genuinely think this is the most fun i've had with a book in a long time as you can see by how many times i felt inclined to pick up the camera and just like shout about this book that like i really really loved it characters in general i really 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 adored i loved every single character even the side characters Lo was was such a good mailman character i don't know why but like the way she wrote low was genuinely so captivating he cared about misery so much you could tell how much he cared about her their connection and as well as their friendship that they formed throughout this book was amazing she was so funny and her connection with his sister anna was also so heartwarming i really really enjoyed to see that and seeing her start to open up to other people the plot twist in here i kind of guessed what one person was going to be doing i did also know some a plot twist that happened to someone else I highly recommend it to anyone 4.75 i feel like i'm gonna be thinking about this book a lot because i love it so much and i feel like there could be a second book by how this one left off and i'm excited for that because like i need i need that next book in this video i wanted to switch up the genres so i put a fantasy poll up on my instagram chose between legendary by stephanie garber which is the second book in the caraval series i also put one dark window by rachel gillig this is a fantasy that i've heard so much about put these two up against each other and i was periodically checking in the 24 hours that i left it up it was a tight race like I was checking and this one was ahead and then this one was ahead and then there were 50 50 this book ended up getting 51% and one dark window got 49% so I'm telling you guys it was really really close but legendary did end up winning the poll carball went by really quick for me I was so into the world and I am excited to jump back into it it does follow a new character which I was really not happy about when i finished caraval but i am intrigued to see what happens i think this is the book we get introduction to Jax, which is the mailman character in the once upon a broken heart series this is the book we're going to be reading and i will talk to you guys when i pick it up i actually haven't talked to a camera in probably two days the past two days i have had absolutely zero urge to read obviously the last i talked this was the book that was picked. I've already put up the poll for the next book because I think I'm gonna finish this one late tonight. Let's let's sit back and read. Okay, wait. Am I gonna fall in love with Dante? I thought we didn't like him. Interesting. We just got introduced to Jack. I knew Jax was who Jax was because I just knew because I know what he looks like from fan art and stuff and I just knew that this is what he was gonna be but like why is he why is he described as such a dangerous person like I did not think he was all that in a bag of chips to be honest I think I'm getting better at fantasy books because I knew I knew I knew what just got revealed on page 123 like I also knew that was going to be a thing or is it so obvious and I'm giving myself too much credit definitely that one now you have 
be shocked and appalled. I was with peace and love, not expecting that. You you got me there, Stephanie Garber. You do. Mm-hmm. It is official. I love Dante more than I love Julian. We thought Julian was good. Dante, ten times better. He just said to her, I've never wanted to be someone else until that moment I saw him kiss you on the dance floor. And she goes, you should have asked me to dance first. And he goes, I will next time. This series is not like the best fantasy. It's not like emotionally affecting me. Well, it kind of is. Every single book emotionally affects me in ways that are probably concerning, but I am having a good time. It's fun to be in this world. I love the idea of everything is fake, but like, is it? Like, it's kind of messes with your head. Jax, I have some words for him that are not entirely nice, but I feel like it could, I could have some nice words for him eventually. This is so not what I expected. 372? That can't be true, right? We have... Or... No, right? Maybe I should read. Maybe I should read the damn book. I don't know what's happening at all. And I'm stressed. I don't know what's real. I don't know what's not real. I don't know what is going on. I'm on page 412. I, I seriously... Like, what's real? What's not real? Who's who? Who's not who? Who's lying to me? I don't know. I have exciting news, everyone. I finished Legendary. This was a very fast read. And also I feel like in the video, it's gonna seem like it's going so fast because I just really, truly sat here and read for multiple hours, like six hours straight. Hella, I, when I finished Caraval, I truly, 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 did not really care about Tella. I was like, I'm kind of upset Scarlet is not getting another book because I really enjoyed Scarlet as a character for most of the time. But I found her story super interesting. Some of the descriptions and some of the tasks that you have to do on each night. Like, I feel like some of it can be a little slow. So I could understand why some people would not think this is good. But regardless of it being slow, I was super intrigued because of how much I loved the characters. The characters in the story, the setting, and the sort of reveals and mystery is what really makes this. Learning about the politics of it and stuff wasn't that interesting to me, like with the cards. Hella was such a strong character and also so funny. Like she made me giggle multiple times because she's such a badass. Dante as a character, I loved him. Jax, okay, I know Jax is the male main character in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I liked him for some of this book and obviously you're not supposed to entirely like him in this book. Like that is literally not the point. But I know in Once Upon a Broken Heart, trust I will because I was already kind of loving him a little bit. The reveal of the mystery that we sort of have going on about like identities and stuff was meh okay and this one i just knew like this one i knew because i feel like it's pretty obvious i'm not saying that to like diminish the way it was written if anything i liked the way it was written more than the reveal itself i think the way it was written even though i knew what was going on it still shocked me at like the, the kind of way it was written and the scene was just really good i did enjoy the reveal scene all that being said i did enjoy this book um i think i'm gonna give it like a 3.5 3.75 something like that that's the second book for this video done i'm going to see you guys when i talk to you about the books i put on the poll and what the poll is telling us to read hi guys it is the next day i put a poll up yesterday I put up two romance books because i have a lot of romance on my tbr and these two are the ones that intrigued me the most. Two books that I put up were The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. This is an Omegaverse book. As we know in this video, I read Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. I kind of want to reach that high that I had while reading Bride. And I hear that this one is really, really good. So it's The Fake Mate. This is by the author who wrote The Nanny. Also put Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver up on the poll. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. This is like a dark romance rom-com. <laughs> it follows two serial killers who are like really competitive. Butcher and Blackbird got... 68% while The Fake Mate got 32%. But Butcher and Blackbird has won. So this is a book that I'm going to be starting today. I hope I love it because I think there's also a second book, like a companion novel, to this one coming out this year as well. Let's just start reading this, everyone. I'm so excited! We need to talk about the trigger warnings for a second. I'm gonna read them to you. Are you ready, class? I'm gonna read them. Eyeballs and eye sockets. Already hate anything to do with eyeballs. Perfect. So excited. Amateur surgery. Skin ornaments. Accidental cannibalism. Not so accidental cannibalism. Questionable use of a mummified corpse. Lobotomized 
manservant. Those are just the trigger warnings. If you wanted to know before you buy the book, only like seven pages in. And why is he kind of giving me like sunshine? Why is he like so like nice? But like also he's a serial killer. So he's like not nice, but like he kind of is. It's been multiple hours. I haven't even read that much because I get distracted so easily. And also I have no other excuse for you, to be honest. Crazy that like I'm sitting here reading about people who for fun reading about it and like these characters are so funny they're such fun characters hey <laughs> hey when i started my reading journey i did i did think i would get to these books yeah because i read wetpad and harry styles was the one doing it. <laughs> so yeah 89 pages in to 100 and blackbird i am really really enjoying it I don't know if I'm gonna continue reading tonight or if I'm just gonna save the rest of this for tomorrow. I'm excited to see them start to open up to one another and like form that sort of bond, even though the bond is already really, really good, especially on the dude's part. I feel like he's like literally just like trailing after her and like so in love with her already. Kind of reminded me of Insta Lovey on his part, like in a way that I know there's still gonna be tension and it's still gonna be a little while until they do some stuff. Do you guys wanna see the bookmark that I put in it? I can fix him. I had to put it in there. I mean, this bookmark is made for this book. It's like pink, like, oh, like, but it says I can fix him because he's a murderer. <laughs> he's a murderer. <laughs> I think I make myself laugh more than I make anyone else laugh, to be honest. I'm going to see you guys when I read more of this. I'm actually just going to see you tomorrow. For this book, being a visual reader is pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough because I don't like anything to do with eyeballs. Really freaks me out a lot. Um... This has a lot to do with eyeballs, so I'm just gonna pretend they're not talking about eyeballs. I don't know how I'm gonna pretend, but I am gonna pretend. I am really enjoying it. I think it's really, really fun. But also, like, I don't personally, I like dark romance, but I like dark romance in a way where there's not, like, gore. And if it does mention gore, it's not in a way where it's, like, really describing the actions of them doing the gore. It's, like, the aftermath. I think that's the thing that's, like, not making this the most enjoyable i'm sure people read this and be like it's really tame but for me it kind of like makes me a little ugh. <laughs> i don't love that part of it but i am absolutely loving the relationship so that's what i wanted to say he just said hold tight love i'm coming love oh my god i'm gonna throw up okay guys so i am putting the book away i got to page 200 i'm having a good time with this book something i've never really read before like a dark romance comedy i think the characters are so perfect for each other like i'm absolutely loving the romance the romance is the best part of this book like the plot besides the plot and besides whatever whatever the romance is the best part of this for me i think that they have really good banter and i think the chemistry and connection that they have is really really good a lot of dark topics in here literally as i read the trigger warnings there's murder there's a lot of it but like the juxtaposition of how sweet I feel like their romance is. He talks about her in such a sweet way in his own point of view, which I absolutely love. I love when we see that in men's point of views. You can see her starting to like acknowledge her feelings and open up to him as well. Like I'm really loving that. The murder scenes with the characters yeah no well i want to vomit it's not like it's extremely gory but it's gory enough for me to be like i'm not i want to put the book down just a little just a little when i was reading that i was like oh what are we doing here what are we doing here we'll see how it goes tomorrow when i finish this because i'm gonna finish this tomorrow because i have to wake up and hopefully get lizzie mcalpine tickets that's that okay i'm gonna go to bed and i'm gonna see you guys in the morning This is the end of the video because I have officially finished Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver, which was the last book of this video. As soon as I finish this clip, I am sitting down and editing for the entire day because I have to wake up early tomorrow. I feel like I talked about it a lot in previous clips and previous updates. Really loved the characters. I loved the relationship and I loved all of the side characters. Plot wasn't my favorite. I feel like the plot missed a little bit. As I said multiple times, I wasn't a fan of the gore. The gore 
part in certain parts of the relationship also took part in and I was like oh I'm not a fan I'm not a fan we could have done without that you could have had another cute little moment especially towards the end <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about what was that <laughs> their banter I just think the delivery of it and the way it was written was written really well the spicy scenes as soon as I got to them I was like yup I was like okay I see you I see you is it going to mess up cookies and cream ice cream for me Yes. For me to think about this book, the parts of this book I am going to be thinking about are not the cute little love scenes that I loved. It is going to be the disturbing gore that I want to forget about because that's how my brain works. We read three books in this video, all chosen by my besties on Instagram. I love everyone on my Instagram. First book that they chose was Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. It was amazing, such a fun time. I have thought about this book a lot since I put it down. If you were intrigued, give it a try. You might love it. I read Legendary by Stephanie Garber, which is the second book in the Caraval series. I give this book a 3.5. I think I enjoyed Caraval more than this one. We obviously read Butcher and Blackbird. I think I'm going to give this book a four stars. I understand why a lot of, a lot of people say this is their favorite book. Second one could potentially be better because I really like both of the characters that I think it's going to follow. And I think the plot with the way this one left off is going to be more interesting to me than this one's plot. If you voted on my polls and you watch like my YouTube videos and you follow me on Instagram, thank you so much, besties. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you wanna see more of my face and more of my videos. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.